It's Nick Mesny with Andy Morrison after the Nomads nil nil draw away at Barry Town. Andy, you prepare all week for a game and then you get a decision like that. You can't prepare for something like that after just two minutes in a game, obviously. No, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's listen, I, I'm not sure what I can and what I can't say anymore, mm. Nick. Um, no, I'm speaking to people who understand the game, commentating on the game, and the rules say, Have you prevented a clear and obvious opportunity? Um, we've looked at the replay and John Tisney doesn't make any contact but he affects his stride pattern I accept that mm. um, Priestley's alongside and the ball's been kicked straight through to the keeper so it's not a clear and obvious goal scoring opportunity it can be easily wrapped up with a yellow card so it's the referee's decision and the way he sees the game mm. different referees might do it differently um, does it surprise me that it was a red? not at all not at all and um, does it surprise me the way the game panned out today? The, the yellows all over the place and then finishing off with, with a red card. It doesn't surprise me one bit. Um, I've got to be pleased that you can go, you know, with the injury time over 90 minutes um, and keep a clean sheet with 10 men and cre create the better opportunities. Mm. You know, we just, because you're down to 10 men, you don't tend to gamble so much on that initial ball or that second ball dropping in the box because you're trying to look after your, your, your shoulder a little bit. Um, so, you know, so we just arrived a little bit late on a couple of them. Um, but, you know, we had some chances. I don't think the keeper, our keeper's not a save to make in, in the whole no. game. Um, so really pleased with that. Uh, I've just told the lads that I won't let them off because, um, the, yes, it's not a red card, it's a yellow card, but the situation has arose from us being incredibly sloppy mm. in that first two or three minutes. They got themselves into some poor positions um, and the way the play developed for the lad to actually roll on the outside when you've got a spare man is just dreadful, dreadful defending, you know? So like, I can blame the referee um, for what I thought was a was a, a, a mistake in my, my opinion, and it seems to be everybody I speak to with opinions, but I can't let the players off with what they've done in the first two or three minutes. You deal with the, the situation, right? You get yourself in a starting position, you talk right, you've got two men up front, you play on the outside shoulder, we've got two men tucked on the inside shoulder, we get rolled down the side, and it's really poor. Um, were they magnificent for the next 90 minutes? They were absolutely brilliant, every single one of them, and they never backed down. Um, they kept going, they kept strong, and you know, listen, I'm, I'm sick of talking about injuries now, but you know, there's two or three boys out there again tonight that are, are struggling with things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you had the personnel uh, on another night, you would have changed probably two or three of them because they're carrying, you know, it looks like fatigue injuries because if it's muscular, if a muscle goes mm -hmm. and you pull a muscle, you can't carry on. No. The lads can carry on, so it, it's, it's a fatigue problem that we're having. Um, will we have anybody back now for next week? No, I doubt it. And, uh, and we've lost John Disney. Um, so, yeah, you know, you think you go up after, you go back up the motorway, really proud of taking a point. But, um, you know, in many ways, it's a missed opportunity. And I don't kid myself, the missed opportunity is because of us being negligent in them first few minutes and being really poor in our decision making.